Oh, good morning, YouTube. Pseudo GJ here. Well, I'm going to do this one stationary today. I sometimes can't think and chew gum at the same time or walk and chew gum at the same time or something. So I'm going to uh, stand still on this one. I've been tagged for the game of four. So I've got my notes here. And uh, get started well for food I'm real real simple uh, probably top of my list would be Indian food and that's the, the continent India rather than Native American don't know that I've ever had Native American food but uh, I like spicy Indian food and, uh, and maybe next would be Chinese food spicy also and Thai which can be quite spicy and Mexican food so uh, quite a variety but uh, you know I, I like other foods but those are probably the top of my list if I I have my choices things to drink probably in, in no order of importance or preference I like coffee never did like coffee but uh, started uh, hanging around with my wife and she drank coffee and I kind of joined her slowly and now uh, yeah, I, I can live without it but I kind of enjoy it uh, also like Diet, Diet Coke and uh, Diet Dr. Pibb Mr. Pibb I guess it is and uh, I have been known to to drink the occasional beer, not not that much, uh, which uh, I'll go into later as to why that's you know something for me. I understand that some people can't drink it, and and that's you know the choice that everybody has to make. Uh, so. Uh, uh, the longest sec section of my uh, game here is where have I lived I started out in a little town of Keokuk Iowa which is on the southeast corner of Iowa on the Mississippi River and I was there till I was about four from what I've been told and uh, my parents had a hog farm and uh, they were afraid that I'd wander into the hog pen and get hurt because the, the hogs can be quite uh, dangerous. So my father started looking for work and got a job in uh, at the Wrigley's plant in Santa Cruz, California. So uh, off we took and uh, was in Santa Cruz most of my growing up years from four until I was 17 except for a couple of times when my parents separated one time we came back to visit her sister in Kansas City another time we returned to Keokuk for a short time each time my parents got back together and the reason that uh, they were separating was uh, his drinking which brings me to my comment about beer. I made a com I made a vow that I would never drink. And uh, it wasn't until I came to know Jesus as my Savior that I got the freedom to to disavow that vow. And uh, in moderation, very much moderate, uh, allow myself to drink beer and and uh, sometimes wine. Uh, but as I said, I, you know, know that some people have made that decision. They can't, they can't handle it, and and that's okay. That's that's great. They need to to do what they need to do. Uh, so you know, after, and uh, when I was 17, my mother uh, finally left my father for for good. We came back to live with my sister, her sister, in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, 
I finished my high school there in, in Kansas City and was living with my mother and working various jobs. Just couldn't uh, find anything that really suited me, something I was excited with. Didn't feel like I was ready for college or anything. So I decided to join the Army. Went uh, to Fort Leonard Wood for my basic training. Fort Leonard, Missouri. In the wintertime, which was not a good decision. Although I don't know, it might have been worse in the summertime. <laughs> uh, that's not a real forgiving environment down there in Fort Leonard Wood. And uh, from there I went to uh, Eatontown, Missouri, Eatontown, New Jersey, at uh, Fort Monmouth from our radio training, 40-week school. And it was while I was there that I met my wife. She had just returned from a year's service as an Army nurse in Vietnam and had uh, stayed there in Eatontown. Uh, working at a hospital and involved in a small little church just off the base of Fort Monmouth. And uh, that's where I met her. And uh, that was, I think, in uh, yeah, around June, I think. And uh, by November, we were married. I was still in school. So I graduated school. Vietnam War was winding down, so I don't think anybody from our class went to Vietnam. Uh, I ended up being sent to Germany, a little uh, town on the western border near Luxembourg and Belgium called Prum, Germany. It's a little NATO post. The radio gear that I was supposed to be a repairman on. Didn't arrive in Europe until just about the time I was ready to, to leave, get out of the Army. I ended up being a radio operator. So at least I get to, to work with the, the radios. Some of my class uh, were daily day room orderlies and various other things. So I was fortunate at least I got to work with, with the electronics that I had trained for. Um, Came back from Germany after getting out of the Army and for a short time in Kansas City, Missouri again. And then uh, we found a church in Olathe, Kansas. Moved to Olathe, Kansas. And uh, went back to school, went to college for further electronic training. Got a good job. And and uh, we decided to uh, go to Hawaii and, and uh, go through a training program with Youth with a Mission. That was in uh, 1985. Um, went through the school, a couple schools, and I went with my son on outreach to Asia. And uh, we came back home to Olathe for a year and went back to Hawaii for two years on staff at the university. And that's probably pretty much the end of my travels. I'm still here in Olathe, Kansas, involved in a local church. And as most of you that watch me here know, uh, I do enjoy traveling. But those are the places that I actually lived. while we were in Germany we were able to visit France and the Netherlands um, and that was that was fun too uh, last thing names that I'm called now, of course Gary's probably the most most common several of my friends uh, Strangely, shorten the short name of Gary to Gare. So uh, I was often called Gare. <laughs> My folks named me Gary 
just to make it simple and figured that it wouldn't uh, get abbreviated. But there you go. <laughs> and uh, I'm also called Dad, which uh, I enjoy. And most recently, the last eight years or so, I've been called Grandpa, which is also a good experience. So I don't know how long this is going. I hope it's still running. But uh, I won't tag anybody here. Anybody that's uh, watching this and, and hasn't done it, you're invited to, to do so. I think a lot of the people that uh, I watch and possibly watch me have already done it. So that's, uh, we'll leave it at that. So everybody have, have a good day here on the first day of fall and uh, we'll see you on YouTube. Bye-bye.